three, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Jake Elgayo The boxing world is buzzing after the electrifying fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Here's a look at the wildest reactions. I don't know about you guys, but I can't, I feel bad watching this fight. It just doesn't feel right. Like, it just, it feels bad, man. Before the fight, Jake Paul called himself a disruptor in boxing, having made his professional debut in 2020 and claimed he would soon be the face of the sport. Meanwhile, 58-year-old Mike Tyson stunned fans with his incredible physical condition. Even Paul admitted feeling a bit intimidated after seeing Tyson's impressive shape, despite the ongoing debate around Tyson's return to the ring. Tyson hined at a full comeback to professional boxing, saying before the fight, Asterisk, I'm taking things one step at a time, but if this fight goes the way I expect, a full return isn't off the table. Asterisk, when asked about facing top fighters like Daniel Dubois, Alexander Usyk, and Tyson Fury, Tyson confidently replied, Asterisk, anything is possible. Asterisk. During training, Tyson was visited by Gene Kilroy, Muhammad Ali's legendary manager. Kilroy, who has known Tyson since he was 13, left the gym visibly impressed, saying he'd never seen Tyson in such incredible shape. On an episode of Asterisk Countdown Asterisk, Tyson didn't hold back. The former youngest heavyweight champion of all time contrasted himself with Jake Paul, declaring, Asterisk is a manufactured killer. Made by TV and media, I'm a natural-born killer. That's the difference. Asterisk. Ahead of the fight, many experts believe Tyson had the upper hand, despite the 31-year age gap. British boxing legend Ricky Hatton expressed confidence in Tyson's power, which he said could be a major problem for Paul. Hatton remarked, Asterisk if Mike kits him, then knock him into next week. He looks fast, explosive, and fantastic for his age. Asterisk. Hatton suggested that Paul's strategy should focus on avoiding Tyson's early onslaught. He explained, Asterisk if you're in Jake Paul's corner, you think, Tyson's 58, so let's jab, move, and tire him out in the first couple of rounds. Asterisk, however, Hatton warned that Tyson's best chance was an early knockout, as the fight could shift in Paul's favor if it dragged into the later rounds. He concluded, Asterisk, Mike will likely go all in early. If he wins, it'll probably be by knockout. Asterisk. Martial artist and actor Michael Jai White also weighed in, highlighting Tyson's unmatched intensity and sharp technique, which he believed would be too much for Paul to handle. If Jake Paul had a chance to win, it would likely be on points. Martial artist and actor Michael Jai White, who has worked with Mike Tyson, shared his thoughts before the fight. White highlighted Tyson's devastating body shots, saying, Asterisk, big guys have tried to hold Mike down, but his power and center of gravity are unstoppable. I don't see how Jake survives a body attack. Asterisk. For Paul, the fight was a chance to prove himself against a legend. He needed to rely on his youth and stamina to survive Tyson's explosive early rounds. Meanwhile, Tyson, even at 58, showed flashes of his prime intensity in training. This fight wasn't just a competition for Tyson, it was a tribute to his legacy. I'm getting ready for you. Mike 
Tyson, the former undisputed heavyweight champion, faced YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul in a highly anticipated event in Arlington, Texas. This historic fight, streamed live on Netflix, was part of a thrilling seven bout card, including a rematch between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, which added extra excitement to the lineup. Support for Tyson was strong ahead of the fight. Analyst Bainsfer told DAZN that Tyson's performance against Roy Jones Jr. at age 54 proved he could still compete. Asterisk, if we see the same Tyson, I don't think this fight lasts more than six rounds. He's older but still dangerous, with bad intentions and serious power. Asterisk. Roy Jones Jr. also backed Tyson, predicting a win by decision or possibly a knockout if Tyson pushed for it. Tyson Fury agreed, saying, Asterisk if my kits anyone, it's lights out, no matter his age. Asterisk, Lennox Lewis echoed this, telling Fox 29, Asterisk, Mike's not that old, Hellwin. Asterisk. On the other hand, top-ranked CEO Bob Arum doubted Tyson's chances. Asterisk, a 58-year-old can't fight like they used to. I hope he doesn't get hurt. Asterisk Aram told reporters. Critics and fans alike were intrigued by the matchup, with some labeling it a spectacle rather than a serious fight. Bleacher reports Lucky Ngassat praised Paul for keeping fans entertained, but noted his history of fighting opponents where the odds were stacked in his favor. Jamai Justat added, Asterisk it's a circus, but it'll be fun and get people talking probably leading to another big-money fight for Paul. Asterisk. As anticipation built, the Netflix event stood out not just as a fight, but as a groundbreaking moment in boxing, bringing together legends, analysts, and fans for a night that would undoubtedly leave people talking. Roy Jones Jr. gave Mike Tyson the edge in his matchup against Jake Paul, comparing it to a clash between a young lion and an old lion. Asterisk, it's a great situation for both, asterisk, Jones said, asterisk, but I think Mike will be too much for Jake. Asterisk, similarly, Buster Douglas predicted an easy win for Tyson, telling asterisk, gambling zone, asterisk, asterisk, I don't see much of a career left for Paul after this. The best he can hope for is to last the full fight. Asterisk. Some, however, saw a path for Paul. Sports betting dimes suggested that if the fight went into the later rounds, Paul's youth and cardio could give him the edge, helping him keep Tyson at a distance. Boxing legend Larry Holmes, famously defeated by a young Tyson, weighed in with mixed feelings, while he expressed pride in the fighters earning huge paydays, something he felt was missing in his era. He hinted at skepticism about Paul's chances. Asterisk, if Jake Paul wins, all hell is going to break loose. They'll probably throw him a parade asterisk Holmes joked, though he noted Tyson's power and fighting mentality. Asterisk guy watched a clip of Mike this morning. He's ready. If Jake tries to trade punches, Mike will end it. He's still a puncher. Asterisk. Larry Holmes, one of boxing's all-time greats and a former opponent of Mike Tyson, took the opportunity to reflect on his own career while discussing the Tyson-Paul matchup. Holmes expressed pride in the massive paydays today's fighters are earning, acknowledging how times have changed. Asterisk, these guys are making more money in one fight than I made in 70 fights, Asterisk Holmes admitted, noting that financial rewards of this scale were unheard of during his era. While he seemed genuinely happy for the fighters, there was an undercurrent of frustration as Holmes subtly lamented the lack of similar opportunities during his prime. Holmes went on to highlight how he's now widely recognized as one of the sport's legends, receiving the respect he worked so hard for. Yet, his tone suggested that the financial disparity between his era and today's boxing scene still left a bitter taste. Asterisk, if Jake Paul wins, there'll be a parade in his honor, and people will go crazy, asterisk Holmes remarked. He humorously added, asterisk, I don't care who wins, but I'll say this, if Jake pulls it off, the world is going to lose its mind. Asterisk, despite claiming to be indifferent about the outcome, Holmes was clearly invested in the fight, evidenced by the amount of time he spent discussing it. Holmes also gave insight into Tyson's preparation, having watched a recent training clip of the former heavyweight champion. Asterisk, Mike is ready. If Jake plans to trade punches with him, it'll end badly. Mike comes to fight, and when he's focused, he's dangerous. Asterisk, Holmes said. Drawing from his own experience fighting Tyson, Holmes emphasized the unique power Tyson still possesses. Asterisk, he fought Mike, 
and when he hit me, that was it. Jake Paul needs to be ready for that kind of power. Asterisk. As the fight drew closer, opinions remained divided. Tyson's unmatched legacy and raw punching power left many believing he still had what it took to defeat the younger, less experienced Paul. On the other hand, Paul's youth and stamina gave his supporters hope that he could outlast Tyson, especially if the fight went into the later rounds. This clash between a living legend and a modern-day disruptor was more than just a fight. It was a cultural event that had fans and analysts alike buzzing with anticipation. This fight wasn't just about Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, it was a clash of eras in boxing. Tyson, a legend from the sport's golden age, represented its traditional roots, known for his raw power and iconic knockouts. Paul, on the other hand, symbolized the modern era of spectacle-driven boxing, lending entertainment and viral moments to draw a new audience. For Tyson, it was a chance to prove his legacy still holds strong at 58, while Paul saw it as an opportunity to silence critics and solidify his place in the sport. The event drew in fans from all walks of life, lifelong boxing enthusiasts and younger, tech-savvy followers alike, creating a unique moment that bridged the gap between old-school and new-school boxing. As fans debated whether Tyson's power and experience would overcome Paul's youth and stamina, it became clear that this fight was about more than the result. It showcased boxing's evolution and the ongoing tension between its traditions and its future. Regardless of who won, the impact of Tyson versus Paul ensured it would be talked about for years to come.